Good morning. It's Sunday morning, February 16, 2020, and it's time for your morning walk with me, Sophronia. I'm walking on Main Street in Newtown. This is my town, and I don't often get to walk here because I'm in New Haven so much, but the, the weather has been so difficult this week, and it's been hard to make a video, but today it's beautiful, and I'm just coming from church. So I thought, okay, let's, let's walk this morning. It's been kind of a complicated week. Day before yesterday, I was in Madison attending the wake for the mother of a dear friend. And of course, that had me thinking about the recent loss of my own mother. But then some happy things have happened too. I was able to drive to Princeton on a very rainy night. Uh, I took Tane to see the U.S. Poet Laureate, my friend Joy Harjo, read. And we actually got to hear and meet some other amazing writers, a, a new friend, Sheila Hetty, the novelist, poets Michael Dickman, twin and poet of, of my friend Matthew Dickman, and also uh, the previous U.S. Poet Laureate, Tracy Smith. So it was, it was just wonderful to share that experience with Tane and to watch him interact with these amazing writers. I also uh, got some good news. I've, I've had pieces accepted for publication and I won my very first artist grant. It is um, an artist fellowship grant from the Connecticut Office of the Arts. Now at the same time though, two days later, I got a rejection for a fellowship program, one that I really thought I was going to get. So it's, it's been this strange mix of things. But my friend Bernice on Twitter asked if I would make a video talking about the grant that I received, how I applied for it, and how it affects my career. And of course, I won't know just yet how it will affect my career, but I can talk about applying for it because there's something important I want to tell you about it. And that is, last year I applied for the same grant and didn't get it. I almost didn't apply for it again because I'd been receiving a lot of rejections from such programs and I was beginning to think maybe my work somehow didn't fit in with these programs. But then I remembered what my friend, the amazing writer, Veronica Chambers. Veronica, many years ago, told me that when it comes to applying for things, she says that no doesn't always mean no. Sometimes it means not right now, and that you just keep applying. And so that, that came to me. I said, OK, I'm going to try this again. And I applied. And this time I did get it. And I'll do the same for the fellowship that I didn't get. I'll apply again next year. Because you just don't know. Now, this is also, I'm thinking about incorporating the happy things and the sad things. And, you know, this is all of a piece. That, that we take what comes and that it's always going to be this way. There will be yeses and nos. There will be happy events and sad events. You know, I said that this was a complicated week. It's kind of a crazy week. But I had a coach once tell me, you know, I, I described a very similar thing, a week where all sorts of things were happening. And she said to me, is it crazy or is this just your life? And I think this is that same kind of thing going on now. This is just my life. There will always be things to write, things getting published, things getting rejected, losses, gains. So I'm just learning how to, to keep walking and, and take the good when it comes, celebrate when I can, but honor the loss as well. I'll tell you more about that next week because I actually wrote something about that uh, concerning Tane, and that's, uh, that piece got published, and I'll tell you more about that next week. 
But for now, I'm, I'm thinking about the words of uh, Billy Joel, this wonderful song of his called This Is The Time. And I'm thinking this is a time to remember because it will not last forever. These are the days to hold on to because you won't, although you want to. <laughs> I'm not sure I got that right, but you get the idea. Anyway, honor this time. Honor everything that comes your way, happy and sad, because this is your life. I'm going to keep walking. You take care. I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.